porcelain gallbladder is characterized by calcification of the gallbladder wall. Approximately 95% of patients have associated gallstones. Patients with a porcelain gallbladder are often asymptomatic. The diagnosis is usually made incidentally on abdominal imaging. Porcelain gallbladder is associated with an increased risk for gallbladder cancer, but the magnitude of risk appears to be small. Porcelain gallbladder is classified based upon the extent of calcification. Complete intramural calcification. A continuous band of calcium infiltrates and replaces the muscular layer of the gallbladder wall. It is accompanied by sloughing of the mucosal epithelium and dense fibrosis of the entire gallbladder wall. Selective mucosal calcification. Calcification of the gallbladder wall is less extensive or segmental with flecks of calcium in the mucosa of the gallbladder wall. Porcelain gallbladder is rare and is detected in 0.06 to 0.08% of cholecystectomy specimens. It has a female preponderance and is usually diagnosed in the sixth decade of life. The pathogenesis of gallbladder wall calcification is controversial. Porcelain gallbladder is associated with cholelithiasis in more than 95% of patients. It has been suggested that the chronic inflammation due to gallstones results in scarring, hyalinization, and calcification. An alternative hypothesis is that cystic duct obstruction leads to bile stagnation within the gallbladder followed by mucosal precipitation of calcium carbonate salts. Patients are often asymptomatic, but occasionally present with symptoms due to complications of gallstone, gallbladder disease. This includes right upper quadrant, epigastric abdominal pain, jaundice, or fever due to common duct obstruction, cholangitis, or pancreatitis. On abdominal computed tomography CT scan in patients with porcelain gallbladder, the gallbladder wall appears as a calcified rim with a dark central bile-filled region. The sonographic appearance of porcelain gallbladder depends on the extent of calcification. When the gallbladder wall is heavily calcified and the wall is diffusely involved, calcification appears as an echogenic arc with clean posterior acoustic shadowing. Porcelain gallbladder has two histologic patterns. Broad continuous band of calcification within the muscularis. This appears radiologically as large plaque-like areas. Multiple punctate calcifications in the glandular spaces of the mucosa. This pattern results in the radiographic appearance of granular calcification. Our approach to the management of porcelain gallbladder is based on the following. Symptoms or complications of gallstone, gallbladder disease. This includes biliary type pain, common duct obstruction, cholangitis, or recurrent pancreatitis. Pattern of calcification, selective mucosal calcification versus complete mural calcification. Patient's age and comorbid medical conditions. The rationale for our approach is based on data that demonstrate that the risk of gallbladder cancer is low and that among patients with porcelain gallbladder the risk of cancer appears to be increased in patients with selective mucosal calcification as compared with complete mural calcification. Symptomatic or selective mucosal calcification. We refer patients with complete mural calcification for cholecystectomy if they are symptomatic. We suggest surgery for all patients with selective mucosal calcification, given their increased risk for gallbladder cancer. Asymptomatic and complete mural calcification. Among patients with complete mural calcification who are asymptomatic, particularly those who are young or who have good functional status, we offer prophylactic cholecystectomy, despite limited data regarding the true risk of gallbladder cancer in such patients, because the prognosis for gallbladder cancer is poor. Laparoscopic cholecystectomy is feasible in patients with porcelain gallbladder despite the presence of a fibrotic gallbladder wall, especially in patients with a long cystic duct and well-defined biliary anatomy. Dissection can initially be performed laparoscopically with the plan to convert to an open procedure if necessary. The surgeon should maintain a high index of suspicion for gallbladder cancer. A frozen section should be performed of any suspicious areas of the gallbladder. Conservative management. Patients with porcelain gallbladder who do not undergo cholecystectomy should be educated about the symptoms of gallstone, gallbladder disease and its complications and instructed to seek medical attention if the symptoms occur.